Alexa, what time is it? The time is 6.05 a.m. It's just one of those days where you don't want to wake up. Everything is fucked. Everybody sucks. I don't have dog bowls, so I just use a tipping carrier like this, which works out perfect because you put food in one, water in the other, it stacks up and carry it with you, which is great. And then Wednesday can eat from it. Oh, I still need a mop. I'll grab this stuff today from Hutton Park. Oh yeah, you need a treat, huh? What do you think? What do you think about the new couch? Sit. Oh, good girl, you look beautiful. I feel kind of gross today, but um, my hair is like still wet. I'm wearing a Levi's jacket. This shirt right here is like a flesh tone color shirt. It's from Cal Calder Blake. And uh, I really like it. It's like a pinkish color. Um, these jeans are from 100. I washed them. I never washed my jeans, but I washed them and they're all quite faded. And then the boots are, um, God, what are they called? Clarks. Uh, I really like denim jackets because of the secret pocket right here. Just in here. So, yeah. I'm gonna wear this today. I think we're just gonna go to the museum today because I need to get some inspiration. Actually, I need to drop off this camera because it has light leaks. I, um, yeah, I go to this guy, Ross Yerkes. Um, I don't want to show you my number, but yeah, this guy right here, he's in Highland Park. And this camera has light leaks, so I need to have him fix that. I'm using this camera today. Let me see how many. Yeah, we got 19, so I've got 36 exposures to this roll. Um, this is, uh, Olympus Infinity 80, which is Chris's camera, and the film I have in here is Kodak Gold, which is a really cheap film. It's actually Khan's favorite film, so that's why I started using it, and I love it. It's super cheap. I'm not, like, a pro, so I don't feel guilty if the shots are not so good. <laughs> So, oh, what do you think? <laughs> Eclectic. Eclectic. Yeah, look at all these cameras. <laughs> One day. I wonder why he has so many cameras. Camera six, camera, 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 camera. He's got every camera you could possibly think of. <laughs> this is when I was fixing yeah, good, good. their printer, or trying to fix their printer, and then also uh. trying to fix Heidi's phone. This okay, so, right here. yeah, we will, we, we thing I could think of was, like, uh, yeah, throwing some Windex and, uh, and, uh, pack and then something in so it looks like it's kind of like a or something. Yo. <laughs> I was just showing Con this. This is in my car. They're oil blotting sheets, but they're also rolling papers. Check it out. Isn't that hilarious? You need it. Oh. Look at that T zone. Jeez. How's it going? I shot medium format film, yes. Two things. Khan just sous vide some chicken and broccoli. Thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, and then also, Tim made this coffee table right here by hand. It's so crazy. It's so pretty. I have to, here. So it's a marble inlay herringbone all the way down. So he like literally stacked this all together. And then this, and then, God, what is this? Copper legs. Look how pretty that is. He also made this one too, but you've seen this before. So nice. How often do you see UV? Um, a few times a week. 
few times a week, yeah. So good. You gotta make a cooking video. <laughs> I used to shoot cooking videos. Yeah. Oh yeah, for chef stuff. So, yeah. I just got back to Long Beach, and um, yeah, today was pretty exceptional. I went to Highland Park. Um, I was kind of feeling like I needed some inspiration, and uh, yeah, I went to hang out with my friend Khan. We went to a museum. Actually, I went there first because I needed to fix a camera at Ross's place. Oh, so Ross gave me some photos that he took um, the last time I was there. So Ross Yerkes is this camera repair guy who used to be a pilot and he used to fix, um, fix well, airplanes, obviously. And he now fixes cameras, builds cameras from scratch. Like he made this camera of like all junk parts and then took these photos the last time I was there. Oh no, this is the last couple times I was there, I guess. Um, and he and his wife live in Highland Park and they kind of work out of their house. And I remember when I first went there, um, I went to fix a camera and I was kind of like scared because it was a house, you know? So I called the number and everything. And um, okay, if you need to screen grab this, this is the information right here. It looks like it's backwards. Anyway, um, yeah, and I went there and I, I went to get my camera fixed and I was in and out really quickly. And then, I don't know, it's just such an interesting place because it's a house full of cameras, full of work stuff, full of tools and everything. It's just like super stimulating, just so much stuff everywhere. And um, I remember I came over once and they were talking about, I think Facebook or something like that. And then I helped him with something with Facebook and he's like, oh, you're a genius. And I'm like, uh, it's just kind of like skills that we all have, right? I mean, we, and anyone who's like in their, I guess in their thirties and under would have. Um, but he was like, yeah, can you help me set up my printer? And I'm like, well, I don't have time today, so I'll come over another time. And then since then I've been, they'll call for random things. Like his wife wanted to upload a video of herself playing the accordion um, or send it to like her daughter or something like that. So then I uploaded it to YouTube for her and just like little things like that. And I don't know, I look at Ross and I think that he's such a, a genius because he can take apart an airplane and then put it back together and people would trust that to, with their lives obviously, you know? And, um, and he took apart an A1 camera, which the outside of an A1 camera, I'll show you real quick. This, this is an A1 and it looks pretty basic, but when you take this part apart, it's insane. It's just so technical, there's just so much to it. He took it apart and he's like showing me the inside of it and uh it was it was so crazy because i would never be able to do that you know i think he's such a genius and he was telling me that when it comes to stuff like setting up a printer or um figuring th things out on his phone figuring out like switching contacts over and stuff like that he feels so stupid like he doesn't even have a cell phone and uh i was telling him that i would trade that knowledge with him in a heartbeat because I don't know anyone who can do that besides him, you know? And he's like almost 80 now. And his wife, Heidi, um, she she's so sweet. So everyone in the neighborhood, um, they'll grow their own fruit and stuff and they'll drop it off at her house and she'll dehydrate it. And every time I come over, she gives me like treats and stuff and I'll just devour it by the time I get home. And I don't even live, all right, I didn't even live that far away from them, maybe like a mile, a mile and a half. Um, yeah, they're just really rad people. And I don't know, I was like, I went there with Khan because I needed his help picking out a camera. And um, Khan was like, yeah, they're they're really cool people. I, I feel like you probably hang out with them a lot because we were kind of in a hurry because we wanted to go to a museum. But he's like, I can see why you stay there for a long time because they're just rad. And I asked him if he thinks that um, we're, Ross and I and Heidi and I, if, like, uh, if he would consider them my friends, and he was like, yeah, totally. And yeah, they're old enough to be my parents, you know, or even older than my parents, maybe my grandparents even. Anywho, so I dropped off a camera with Ross to fix, or to seal again, because the um, seal in the camera deteriorated over time, so there's like all these light leaks in the camera that um, I used. So I should be getting that in 
the next couple days. Then after that, Khan and I went to, I think it's called Hauser and Worth or Heiser and Worth. There's a bookstore there and then there's like four galleries. We kind of went around and um, I was trying to find inspiration because I feel kind of like stuck. Like, I don't know if you noticed, but the past like few videos or the past week or so, all the videos kind of look similar, like the font and whatnot. And I kind of want to find different ways to make it more interesting, you know? Um, and I was feeling kind of stuck. And then Khan went to, he had to pick up something in Glendale. So then I went out there with him and I sat in the car and took a nap while he was talking to the people that he was picking up the stuff from. And he was in there for a really long time. I, I think I was out for 30 minutes or so. And when he came out, I was like, damn dog, that took a really long time. And he was like, yeah, the, when I got in there, the woman who was working, um, her friend just called and said that so-and-so passed away and she was crying, you know? And I mean, that was really sad. And so she asked him, she asked him how old he is, and he's like, oh, I just turned 29. And she's like, yeah, your 30s are great because everyone's, you know, getting married. So when you get phone calls, it's mostly like people getting married or like people having kids. And your 40s is great too because um, people like kids' birthdays and celebrations and graduations and that kind of thing. And then when you turn 50, your friends will start calling you because people start passing away. And then your 60s are great because grandkids you know so yeah he was telling me about that and that's just that's life you know and it it really i don't know it's sad like we were sad when we were talking about it but then when we when you think about it, there's so much to celebrate i'm gonna be i'm gonna be 30 in 11 days on the 17th on st patty's day and I, for the first time in my life, this is the happiest, I can say this is the happiest I've ever been in my life, you know? And Amy posted this thing like a week ago, like it's just three questions and she was asking, are you happy? Do you feel fulfilled? And do you feel tied down? And you know, if you were to ask me three or four months ago, I would have said no to all those things. I was just in a really bad place like three months ago and I was a completely different person. And then now if you, like when she posted that, I read it through and I'm like, yeah, I feel great about everything. I'm, I totally feel fulfilled. I'm happy. I'm absolutely happy. This is the happiest I've ever been for sure. And I don't feel tied down at all. And it's so crazy how quickly that can change, you know? Yeah, I hope that that makes any sense if that last thing made any sense, but it's so crazy because last night I had so much on my brain and I don't know if you can tell, but I had a bit to drink. I had a lot on my brain. I was like rearranging my apartment and I was kind of, kind of lost, you know? And then I woke up like really early, still feeling that way. And I just kind of, I don't know, I knew that I had a snap out of it. So I went on a run with Wednesday and I still didn't feel better after that, you know? I was just feeling kind of lost. And then when I went up to Highland Park to hang out with Khan, everything just kind of switched. So I feel like it's just a choice, you know? You can choose to change your mindset and be happy. Shit happens to everyone and I feel like I have a lot to be grateful for. So I'm really lucky and I don't want this to be cheesy so I'm just gonna end it here. So I'll see you guys tomorrow, bye.